Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Ajian and here's some of the top stories we have for you tonight. Hovensa does it again with hundreds of St. Croix students and staff sick from the toxic chemicals coming from our refinery. Delegate to Congress Donna Christensen and Senator Chucky Hansen send for Environmental Protection Agency to come to St. Croix. We'll take you to a lockdown at the Juan Louis Hospital and show you the effects of a toxic environmental accident. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. In our top story tonight, over 1,500 students were evacuated and at least 220 students and staff at Central High School complained of nausea, shortness of breath, irritated skin and burning eyes as the Hovensa refinery released toxic chemicals into the air earlier this morning, forcing Central High School and other schools to cancel classes for the rest of the day. We start our special environmental report with News Channel 8's Wes Small, who's on the scene at Central. Thank you very much, uh, Jerome. We're going to get right to it because I'm with a very um, busy assistant superintendent, Miss Incarnacion. And if you don't already know, Hovenza has done it again. Some fumes have been emitted and the children are getting sick. Asthma, some complaints of stomach case. You see the parents now in the middle of the workday having to take their children out of here. Miss Incarnacion, please tell us what time uh, and happened. I know you have a report from the um, incident something. man, David, um, at Hovenza. Tell us what's going on. All right, uh, well, today we, I got a report from uh, one of the assistant principals at St. Croix Central High School informing me of a release that was affecting um, faculty and students at the school. Um, we, I sent the health and safety manager down as well as a director of maintenance to give me an assessment. And once that was done and it was determined that we had over 100 faculty and staff sick, I mean, vomiting, ice burning, we decided it was time um, to close school. So we called the buses, the buses came right away and uh, we closed school for the day. Um, I just spoke with Vincent Gordon, one of the assistant principals, and we did have a representative from Hovenza here who did say that there was a 10 minute uh, release this morning of some fumes. He's not sure exactly what it was. They're still doing an investigation. Um, but for the health and safety of our school, um, faculty, staff, and students, we've sent everyone home just to be on the, um, to, you know, air on the side of caution. Mr. Canarsion. That was a good move from you guys in Government House because this reporter's eyes are burning. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the camera, man. He doesn't look too good. Mm -hmm. And these kids, the longer they're forced to stay around here and wait for their rides, I got to tell you, it looks like we're in harm's way, you know? And you know, the funky thing is the weather is just like sat on yeah, us for the yeah. last 72 hours. And I think that is that, that has to, but I'm surprised that Hovenza, Hovenza has got to do a better job for this community. Miss Incarnacion, Assistant Superintendent of Schools, around what time was it, Miss Incarnacion? Around 7.30, 8 o'clock? When they started arriving, they started to smell the, the fumes. You see the and yeah, leaving. Yeah, yeah, we just missed school at around um, 9.30. And we have several children across the street complaining about belly aches and um, pain, stomach aches, and also incidents of bad breathing and asthma. So if you have children at Central High School, you really need to be cautious for the rest of the week. For now, we'll keep you posted. I'll try to get an update on Hovenza and DPNR about the toxic fumes that are in harm's way, forcing Central to shut down. Ms. Incarnacion, thank you thank very you, much. Thank you. If we have any more for you, we'll certainly give it to you. News Channel 8 is all over this one. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And the Department of Education wants to thank the Abramson Bus Company for helping with that evacuation. Now let's check in with Wes Small as he's at the Hovenza refinery. Here we are at Hovenza, this reporter not happy. I just spent 15 minutes inside the lobby. Um, everyone, it smells horrible here by the way. Everyone in there is just about happy as they could be singing for their supper. Security guards and so forth. Wes, are you alright? No, I'm not alright. The community is under siege with environmental pollution. In case you're just joining us, at around 7.30 this morning, Hovenza started emitting fumes that literally shut Central High School down. Right now, since we're under this weather cloud right here, it's like the entire island is just ingesting Hovenza toxic fumes. 
Nothing from Environmental Protection Agency. Nothing from the Department of Planning and Natural Resources. Nothing from the St. Croix Environmental Agency. Not happy at all. Alex Moorhead, he is retired uh, vice president from Hovenza, but he just so happens to be here today. Just like he so happened to be here when the flare-up happened, even though he is retired. Cora Christian, one of the leading doctors we all know, a community doctor, her service, she is the medical doctor here, untouchable, not speaking to the public. Alex Moorhead just got off the phone with me on an in-house phone, and he said this, and I quote, Wes, at this time, we do know we had an incident, but we are not prepared. We are preparing the press release for some time later today. Meanwhile, we have young women who have never smoked cigarettes before on this island coming up with lumps in their breast and breast cancer. Clifton Hill, Central High School, Lorraine, Strawberry, Barren Spot, unwashable oil, toxics. How much can we take? This corporate giant, Attorney Lee Rohn can't do it alone. Make no mistake, lots of people have been educated, went to school, bought homes, gotten jobs here, careers. But which is it, our health or the billions? We'll keep you posted, but good luck on that. I'm Wes Small at Hovenza for News Channel 8. Thanks for that report, Wes. And Wes Small did try to get in touch with Hovenza. So far, they've given us no response. Newly elected Senator Chucky Hansen sent for the EPA on December 3rd, as you'll learn in this next environmental story. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Here she is, uh, one of the top voters again. I've lost terms, Senator, how many times you've been in, but we're going to get right to it. This is no joking matter. I'm going to keep you updated. You have a letter from the Environmental Protection Agency. What do you have to say about 15 to 2,000 students having to leave this campus with asthma, nausea, stomach problems. What is going on with Hovenza? Well, this is something that is happening extremely too frequently. And uh, the people have elected me to uh, represent them. My term does not begin until January. So I'm allowing senators who are sitting to complete their term. And what I've been doing in the meantime, myself and Attorney Hajj, have been researching matters so we can have a jump start when we get in there in January. What I've done, I've met with the head of uh, our region, Mr. Uh, Carl Axel Salenberg. Salenberg out of Puerto Rico who is above and over the United States Virgin Islands because I really believe that we have gotten to a point that we should go nationally with this yes. issue yes. and uh, we're going to have the secretary involved they have assured me that they're going to be taking a closer look to what's taken here at Hovensa and the United States Virgin Islands and they have to be a level of control on what is taking place at Hovensa. We want the refinery here, but there have to be some control. You can't allow this type of thing to happen with getting people sick with all these uh, type of chemicals. And then the government is allowing Hovensa to give us the result of their own test. In my meeting and the conference I had on December the 3rd at EPA in Puerto Rico. So you were ahead of this. I discovered that there are millions of dollars provided to DPNR. And in fact, there are a lot of the monies that they give our government. They are returned back because they don't utilize all the monies. And the paperwork is not being filled out. Let me tell you something. Uh, I know that when the governor discovers what, how DPNR has been operating, not submitting the monies and the request that they should, and millions of monies available to us that we don't utilize, that we can utilize, it's going to be a very serious matter. Thank you, Senator Chucky Hansen. At least she's all over this one. We're at Central High School. If we could tell you any more about this evacuation and the evacuations of many schools and offices on the island of St. Croix since the eight minute, they say, flare up this morning. We'll get it back to you. At Central, looks like a science fiction. It is vacant at one o'clock in the afternoon on a weekday. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Meanwhile, Delegate to Congress Donna Christensen sent for the EPA earlier today after the accident. Now we go to the Juan Louis Hospital with more on this environmental disaster. Thank you, Jerome. All right, we have Attorney Russell. Who's 
PIO, uh, public information officer right now, Juan Louis. Also, Dr. Santano, thank you, Doc, for leveling me and explaining what's going on. Chaotic situation with Hovenza and Senator Chucky Hansen, of course. And thank you, Attorney Russell. You're going to explain how I was, I thought this was a mock drill, and I said this should have been canceled since Hovenza. And Dr. Santano set me right, said, no, let's let the PIO set you straight there. Thank you. Thank you, Wes. Um, we're here at Wang Louis Hospital, and um, as I explained earlier, around 8.30 this morning, we received news of um, territorial-wide drill that we were supposed to participate in. We went ahead and accommodated the drill and activated our command center and went into emergency operations mode. Um, a couple hours later, around 10.30, we heard news of a real situation in that um, some students at Central High School had been overcome by um, gas, which had leaked from the Hovensa plant. Um, at approximately 12.38, we called off our emergency drill and uh, switched operations into a real code yellow, um, where, and we have treated 11 students total um, with symptoms of nausea and vomiting. And we got an update recently that we're expecting a, about 25 students from the John H. Woodson School also with the same um, symptoms. The students have not been confirmed because they have not arrived yet to my knowledge as we speak, but um, that is the latest update that we have. Doc, I know you're busy and I'd like to get to you because you've got patients to take care of in there. What do you think are the effects? And I know it's early to determine this. I've talked to Paul Shakroff. We had an eight to 10 minute window of toxic fumes coming out of the coker early this morning. And this is why we could be seeing some of this, these symptoms. Doc, what do you think? Well, the, the uh, MSDS sheet, which is the, um, the information that provides the specific uh, data on the type of chemical that was released as well as the type of symptoms that it can cause, was transferred from Havensa to the emergency room. So we have the specific agent uh, that's, uh, that was released uh, this morning. It's a hydrocarbon solvent. It can cause eye irritation, skin irritation, and gastrointestinal symptoms. So it seems like the symptoms that the students are presenting with are consistent with, uh, with the agent that was released. With that, I'll leave you with that. If we have any more information, Jerome, to get to you, I'll certainly do that. At the emergency room at Juan Louis Hospital, News Channel 8 is all over this one. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. And we want to thank everybody who participated in giving us information today about the Hovensa refinery. At this time, we have not heard from the Department of Education nor from Central High School. If there will be attendance at school tomorrow, we will keep you posted.